Welcome everyone to the Freestyle Cast. I am your host, Sky Havoc. And today, Scott, I lost my microphone. Scott is going to be talking about Dragon Breath. Yes, I don't don't mean a stinky one when you haven't brushed your teeth in a while. (laughs) What's up, Alex? Don't hear his microphone. I thought it's called Dragon Breath. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, what is the story, Scott? Well, Dragon's Breath basically is either cheese puffs, cheesy puffs, cheesy puffs, <laughs> or cereal dipped in pretty much with the liquid nitrogen poured over it. So, when you pop it into your mouth, it We've all, we've been on like really cold days. You see your breath uh, exit your mouth. That's pretty much what it is. And like I said, it's either cereal or, I don't even know about the cheese puffs, but, uh, but apparently there's this, there was a story that came out. Doctors are saying, a few doctors saying, oh, avoid it 100% because there's this one guy who was uh, eating it and he noticed it, he sort of uh, injured his inner cheek. And then there was another kid, then there was a kid who took it and set off an asthma attack. But I'm here to tell you, I've tried the stuff. It, 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 it didn't affect me any. <laughs> no. Liquid nitrogen with food does not make any sense but whatsoever. When they do prepare it, they're either before or afterwards, they say, don't try not to touch it with your fingers and don't drink the liquid. There's a joke in there, I know. That's what she said. It's like uh, putting magma lava on french fries. You would not do it. But they say don't drink the liquid at the bottom of the cup and all. But it, it, by the time you get down to the very bottom, I mean, it's literally nothing but a film. But it is. It's quite. It's it's good. I've had like once or twice. Plus, I had this thing uh, today called uh, Mama Chills Creamery. And it's pretty much the, in a similar style. The They do up the whole ice cream. You can tell they're pouring, pouring liquid nitrogen in it. And, oh, if you have a chance to grab either of them, do. The only experience I first had with liquid nitrogen was when I saw Jason Voorhees and Jason X Stick the woman's hand that turned into a crystalline substance and then smashed her. I would not put that in my mouth. There was a guy, there was a scientist, there was a teacher, I shouldn't say scientist, he's probably a scientist. He said, uh, if I drop this particular, I forget what it was, into liquid nitrogen. Oh, it was a match. That was what it was. It was a match into liquid nitrogen. What do you think will happen? And of course, he does did, did the whole little um, going over here, going over there, and all. Finally, he dropped this this spunt, the little splint. It didn't do anything because pretty much he said the 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 space between the actual liquid nitrogen and the real cold air is so much that it. But the video you showed had children have an asthma attacks yeah and the guy's like tongue that. was bleeding and he couldn't eat for four weeks oh wham. why even bother oh wham. what are you laughing at philip archer do you think it's funny that a kid has an asthma attack because of liquid nitrogen why don't they just put shampoo lava in their heads? <laughs> well, for a fact, well, for one, a kid that's easily perturbed by asthma attack shouldn't even be eating that sort of stuff anyway. Yeah. Where are the parents? My yeah, gosh, them. Maybe the parents just didn't want that kid to survive the experience. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> what are you eating? It's a madman ice lolly cream. It's a madman's ice lolly. Magmum. Mag- Magmum. Yes. Magmum PI. 
Well, it, it does look a, little, a bit like Tom Selleck after a hard day's night, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very amusing. I mean? see that Alex is in here. Alex. Hello, Alex. <laughs> Alex, what do you have to say? Oh, he got kicked, so he... We got twins. Ooh. Oh, we got one. Oh. Hello, Alex. How are you today? Yeah, just switched the computer back on. <laughs> Hold on. Need to stop the video. There we go. Right. Can you hear me now? Yes. yes I can hear you perfectly. Right. Talk to us. What do you have to bring to the table to the freestyle cast? Thinking, what the bloody hell was on? They were on on that video. <laughs> Liquid nitrogen in the mouth. They're mad. Hey, man. Hey, give it to give it us, the uh, U.S. citizens, to come up with some odd things. We're going to have to go to Philip Archer and hey. see what stories he can tell us about his day. In the life of himself. What did you do today, Philip? What did I do today? I woke up. Did you I... piss anybody off? Let's just say I did that yesterday. <laughs> right. <laughs> but not today. Today they won't even talk to me. So I'm, I've been, I, I've been, what's the word? I've been put in the box and shut away. But it's good. It's because time to open the box. And I don't mean the Hellraiser box, because you don't want to go there. But anyway! You mean the gully will go to spring box? Boing! Hello! <laughs> Philip Archer. Getting into trouble as usual? No. What about you, Scott? Have you Worked been in trouble there? Off and luckily didn't piss off anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that your beard means that you're mean and you drove people away from the cast. Or yeah. is that fake news from the Legion of Ghosts? Yeah, because here's my tissue compression eliminator. So all this rumors about me kidnapping people is wrong. I shrunk their happy little ass. Wow. All I know is when your day is made up of misery... You need to put on the Mallinthorpe trailer and see where oh, Matt Smith is. Oh, is my God. A screwdriver. <laughs> because Matt that brings a delight. Like, yeah. I can't even tell you. Have you never seen that before, though, beforehand? I was, it was sent to me by Matrix Lord, and I only saw him as Skynet in. The Terminator movie and Doctor Who. Far from Skynet. That was not my cup of tea. Let's put it that way. No, I think Matt Smith had a the abomination movie in mind in that movie. <laughs> oh, I don't like and those. It proves that he loves to have cream in his tea. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my abomination! God. The agony. <laughs> It must have been for him, yeah. I can't no, wait to see him in It's Stone like Wars. one lump or two lumps. <laughs> <laughs> what setting? I give him, I give him, I give him his dues, though. He's he pumping out all these different movies. Yeah. Oh, he's pumping out stuff, all right. <laughs> yeah, he was pumping out things. Wasn't he? <laughs> well, to pump. Every are... incarnation. Yeah. Every race. <laughs> You said a race for something. Down there, you know where. No. Anyway, okay. today I've witnessed Matrix Lord to one two buying all these video games, playing Dark Souls and Back to the Future and Soul Calibur. What's what the souls are? It? A lot of time in the underworld today. What did you do in your spare time, Alex? Well, I just went out shopping and uh, broke a book. That's all I did. You have a book? Yes, in the pipeline. 
another author. Wonderful. Author, author. How far are you, Alex, to fruition? Not that far off. 2019 release date? More like 2025. What? <laughs> if I keep doing the read right, it was never going to get published. I wish you all the luck in the world. We'll have to cover that in 2025. We should be up to freestyle cast 1,000. Mm -hmm. But now I have to go. Time to go back to my universe. So it's been fun, but get out!